Well, it looks to me like the Chomo Velveteen Dream wants back into professional wrestling because today he dropped an apology video. And I'm going to tell you something. I bet you anything, the same leftists that are against Chris Jericho for flirting with a woman, I guarantee you they will come to Velveteen Dream's aid and support him being back into wrestling and say that if he's not back into wrestling, it's because everybody's racist. I'm JB Gunner. This is Heel Nation. Let's get on into this. Let's do it. Now, as someone that's been doing news and podcasting for, well, now 18 years, as of December 21st, I, you Sometimes you could see a pattern. You know how things are going to go. You know how the general public, and especially now the woke public, are going to react to certain things. Chris Jericho, people have a problem with his wife going to January 6th. So Chris Jericho is going to be attacked ruthlessly because people know he's a conservative. Now, this is a wrestling channel, so I'm not going to inject, interject too much of my politics here. I got a political channel for that and other live stream channels for that. But it still is very relevant because I guarantee you what we're about to see coming forward is a completely different reaction for the very limp-wristed Velveteen Dream because it's part of the agenda. You know how it goes. Guys, I'm JB Gunner. This is Heel Nation. Before we get into this story, I want to say first and foremost, thank you to everybody that supports my channel, any of my channels, regardless of platform, regardless of method you choose, whether it's Cash App, Patreon, Venmo, PayPal. Truth is, guys, I couldn't do this each and every day as often as I do if it wasn't for you, the Gun Squad. I love you guys so much. If you too find my content valuable, feel free to hit the links down below. Support the channel, guys. Appreciate you. And if you want to check out some of the other channels, which I would not recommend for you snowflakes out there, uh, the links, some of the channel's links are down below. But anyway, let's get into this. This person you see above my shoulder, he's someone that I'd seen a lot in person because I used to be NXT front row every week. Um, his name is Velvet Teen Dream. His actual name is Patrick Clark. Patrick Clark was fired from the World Wrestling Entertainment, and I'll, I will give you a little bit of an example as why. Let's go ahead and jump on in to this. This is Patrick Clark, and what Patrick Clark did was he basically played a new black gold dust. Does that make sense? The whole homo thing, all of that, you, you, get, what I, you get what I'm saying, right? You can tell by looking at the picture this dude is, you know, sweet as motherfucking sweet tea in the South, right? You can see, clearly, he's got some sugar in his tank. In this, I don't, I don't know if in real life he does or not, but I will tell you some of the things I'm about to tell you, it seems like he might. Now, let's get to this. Let's go ahead and take a look. So we got him right here. Now, I want to look. These are the top five controversies surrounding him over the past three years. Number five on our list, controversies Velveteen Dream or found himself in. He was arrested on charges of first degree battery and trespassing. In August 2022, Velveteen Dream was arrested twice. The first arrest came on 20, August 20th under charge of first-degree battery. A case of trespassing on property despite a warning was also slapped on him. Dream was also ar arrested by Orlando Police Department and booked with misdemeanor charges. He and his attorney pleaded not guilty, uh, leading to his arraignment hearing being canceled. Number four, arrested for possession of drug paraphernalia. That's right, another one of the dope fiends. Uh, he, he basically admitted he and a bunch of NXT wrestlers were doing cocaine while on the roster. So he openly admitted to be a, being a fucking dope fiend. And if you take a look at Velveteen Dream, it's not hard. You see Cracky in him. Like, when I look at Velveteen I Dream, I, I'm from South Side of Chicago. I see Crackhead when I see Velveteen Dream. And we'll, there's more examples of that here in a minute, but it doesn't matter. Just six days after the initial arrest in 2022, Velveteen Dream was taken in again. He was arrested on August 26 in Orange County, Florida. Orange County Corrections Department records state that he was arrested due to out-of-county warrant for a probation violation by the Orlando Police Department. Dream was reportedly taken in due to a previous dope case on his name in Seminole County, Florida. He was held in a no-bond status. Another thing this man did, accused of filming people in washrooms. He was accused, literally accused of filming dudes 
when they had their dicks out taking a piss. As you can see by looking at this limp-wristed motherfucker right here, I'm not sure this was a gimmick, right? And I look, I get it. All you new wrestling fans, you new age wrestling fans, you love homosexuality. You love it. You think it's great. Well, real men don't think that. And it's just the truth. Real men don't get into this weird shit being pushed on our children or just being in general out there. And here's the reality. It's kids that watch this a lot of times. Now, do, 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 do I think his, his, his gimmick needed canceled? No, because I don't also believe in cancellation. I believe it's entertainment. And my job as a father is to explain to my kids that this shit isn't real. This dude right here, this is an act. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, Val Venus, when he raped the dead body, I, you know, I, I, I would, it's a, it's a show. It's a television. Jason Voorhees ain't really chopping up motherfuckers. Problem is, Patrick Clark probably really is sucking dick and uh, obviously accusing, uh, filming people in the washrooms. It's, I'm telling you, it's a mental disorder. Former WWE superstar EC3 revealed a shocking tale about Velveteen Dream. He, sta he stated that he used to try and film people in the bathroom and narrated the story about how the, uh, he found all this at a party. We had a party and it was at my place. He came over because I was being friendly and I'm a top guy and I tried to welcome everybody into the thing. He left his phone in my bathroom with the camera on trying to capture people taking pisses. So there, how did I know? Because it's my bathroom. When I walk in there and I see a phone selfie style propped up filming where if, where if someone is going to take a, a piss, they would have their phallus out urinate. So literally had the phone propped up taking pictures of dicks while people were pissing. Dream responded to EC3 statements and denied everything. He said his former colleague was pretty drunk and beaten up that night and had a mutual friend from NXT could testify in his favor. Basically, he talked about them doing cocaine together as well. You know, it is what it is. It's obvious they were dope fiends. Now, here's the real shit. Accused of sending indecent images to underage boys. So listen, if you're a grown-ass man and you decide you like to take dick in your ass, I'm just going to say this. That's your business. I don't really give a fuck. Keep that weird-looking shit away from me. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it on my television, and I don't want to have nothing to do with it. I'm a grown-ass regular man that likes vagina, like Chris Jericho. But we're talking about, this is why I say it's all a kink. It's all a fetish. It's all a, a, a disorder. Because nine times, what you see right here is this boy trying to fuck little boys now. And I, I think that is going to be clearly where the problem is. Said I was working on a new, no, no, I don't need to read all that. In April 2020, Velveteen Dream landed in hot water. This is the original shit. For allegedly sending inappropriate pictures, dick pics, to underage boys on Instagram. He was explaining, by the way, this is not a rumor. The pictures and his audio recordings his voice notes are out there. Um, he was exposed after a Reddit user posted screenshots of a naked dream on wrestling subreddit Squared Circle. The alleged victim claimed to be 17 years old and revealed that their friends who received indecent images were 15 and 16. The victim talked about Dream and how his phone number is Washington area code. His voice in the calls was accurate. It was off of his verified Instagram account and the pictures he sent is believable. Of course they were. The former NXT superstar denied these allegations and said in a now deleted tweet he wasn't aware of the pictures being shared. But be assured I did not communicate inappropriately with anyone, which he did. And we'll get to his apology video here in just a second. A private photo of mine was shared without my consent or knowledge, and I'm working with a third party to look into this matter. No, he's not, because his voice was recorded in voice notes to the little motherfucker. Number one, accused of sending a sexually explicit photo to underage girl and inappropriately talking to underage boys and grooming them. This is why we think y'all are groomers, you motherfucking LGBT, ABA, DAQ, left wing motherfuckers. We call you groomers because you are groomers. You're horrible people. You're either killing babies through abortion or you're fucking grooming them through this bullshit. And I don't give a fuck who agrees with me. And I've had plenty of people in the comment section say, you shouldn't say this. You're going to get canceled. Man, I've been making a living off this platform for 18 years. I just started this channel. I don't give a fuck whether you cocksuckers watch this shit or not. Let me just make that shit clear. I do this to get my opinion out. I don't care if you cancel me or watch the show or don't watch the show. You could suck my... Well, I better not say that because you motherfuckers will do it. 
Anyways, accused of sending a sexually so uh, so once again grooming them. In June 2020, Velveteen Dream was a talk of the wrestling world. New, and that's why y'all think everybody can be trannies and shit. Like, come on, get the fuck out of here. In 2020, Velveteen Dream was the talk of the wrestling world. News dropped that he had sent a sexually explicit photo to a little girl. It was also stated that he was talking inappropriate to little boys and grooming them against the speaking out movement, of course. WWE investigated the incident but failed to find sufficient evidence of the wrongdoing. Triple H gave his thoughts on the situation, blah, blah, blah. Velveteen, well, either way, he was fired. He wasn't there too long after this, okay? And he got arrested. There's him there, looking as cracky as ever. There's him there, looking as limp wristed as ever. Now, we could look at the footage, if we really wanted to, of his arrest. <laughs> So anyway, he's getting out of there. He's getting out of there anyway. We're not gonna sit here and watch all this shit. He's, you know, it is what it is. He had a, a, a huge issue. WWE has came out recently. Well, not recently. Just in general, census. This was actually what 2023. This was no uh, October of 2023. Triple H says he has absolutely no interest in re-signing Velveteen Dream or Patrick Clark, however you want to know. Well, today, the limp, Mr. Limp Rister himself decided to drop an apology video like every celebrity does so they can get back your guys' money. See, I'm not liking anybody. I will tell you straight up. I hate when celebrities do this. I've never made an apology video in my entire 18 years, and I've had channels with 100,000 subscribers. I don't give a fuck. I will never apologize to any of you motherfuckers for speaking my opinion or anything that goes on in my real life. Velveteen Dream, however, he needs to get back into pro wrestling, and so he thinks this is going to be his way in. And I do believe there's going to be a lot of you people, a lot of you people, that even though you're lashing out against Chris Jericho, you're going to fucking forgive this grooming little ch chomo child molesting sack of shit. Here we go. Let's listen to the apology. As you've probably seen or have heard over the course of the last few years, I want to apologize for my behavior. Oh. Both professionally and personally, I always preach to those closest to me about the power of accountability and responsibility, and I take full accountability for my behavior over the last three years of my life. What does that mean? When narratives were written about me, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> see? You see it right there? He's trying to cast doubt that everything written about him was just a narrative. Dude, you sent your dick to a little boy. You're a, a, ho you're a, chomo, a homo chomo. That's exactly what you are. Not only are you wanting to diddle kids, you're wanting to diddle little boys. I'm about to move to your damn neighborhood anyway, brother. I don't give a fuck. You could hate me, uh, Patrick. I'll be right in your general vicinity. But I will say this, when it comes to this shit, they all put forth these fake ass apologies, hoping, begging to get their ass back in wrestling. If Triple H lets this fucking child molesting limp wrister back into pro wrestling, it's it. I'm done with pro wrestling. Period. It didn't matter what was written about me. It didn't matter what was said about me. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. What's on the internet about me? I was wrong. I know. Okay. Yes. Now, I want you to understand what he's trying to say is everybody else is just making up shit. But I was wrong anyway. Because of that, I need to apologize to a few people. First, I want to apologize to the WWE organization. A WWE organization? The WWE organization. What the fuck is the WWE organization? I'm telling you, they got average IQs of 78 on average. Google it. And if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. For any unwanted attention and negative press that I brought to your brand and your product. I want to apologize to the WWE fans and the Velveteen Dream fans because... When you hear the name Velveteen Dream, it should have only been spoken about in a productive and a positive light. Uh, not the name Patrick Clark, uh, as another statistic of what happens when talent and opportunity meet immaturity. Okay? Okay. Uh, that's not what you spend your hard-earned money on. It's not what you invest your time. 
Well, to be fair, you never made it up to the main roster, and the NXT seats were only 10 bucks for the front row. I know, because I was there every day, every week. So we didn't spend much money on you. And your money in. When you look on the TV and you come to the shows, you should uh, escape reality, not have to deal with mine. Huh. I want to apologize to the WWE and the fans. I want to apologize to Paul Levesque. Paul, you are such an understanding <laughs> man. He's leader, licking them balls right now. Getting the opportunity to work with you and to learn from you, I get the sense of what makes you who you are. <laughs> oh, indeed, man. Come on, man. This is pandering. He's literally cupping Triple H's balls right in his mouth. Right in his jaws, right now as he's speaking. Please give me a job, Black Ma Please get back, Massa. Please give me a job back. No. And how you've been able to handle the responsibility no. of being in the public light for such a long time. Uh, I want to apologize to you. Mm. I'm sorry. Uh, also, I want to say I'm sorry to Shawn Michaels. Shawn, it's still beyond me that I've been having the opportunity in this lifetime to learn from you, um, to have stop your it. mentorship and your guidance. And I apologize if you feel like you've wasted your time and your energy uh, investing into me. You have not. Uh, I'm still a work in progress. Right. I'm still learning. And I remember all the lessons that you've taught me. Uh, Sean, I'm sorry. My best friend, Tahuti Miles. I want to apologize to you. Hootie you know, Miles. Uh, because he's talking, about, he's talking about that. Is that, is that that dude that claimed WWE was racist? Is that who Hootie Miles is? I'm pretty sure it is. Let me, let me, let's Google it. I'm pretty sure that is. He's talking about uh, Hootie Miles. I'm pretty sure that's a wrestler. That's a wrestler. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's see. Let's look at images. I could be wrong. Who was the Miles dude? That uh, Miles WWE. Uh, I could have swore. I don't know. But you guys remember who I'm talking about? That dude right there, Jordan Miles. I wonder if his nickname's Hootie. I don't know. I'm not saying I don't know if that's the case at all. No, that's not who he is. That dude right there is Jordan Miles. But Jordan, Miles, I wonder if that's who he's talking about. Let me know if you're in the, in the comment section if you know. Before you were tied to me publicly, oh. uh, for the support you've given me and you continue to give me, your resume was impeccable. And I apologize for any smudges that I may have put on that resume because of my behavior. Uh, you're the last person that should have to deal with anything like that, and I'm sorry, man. Uh, I want to apologize to my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, my nieces and my nephews, because you may read things, uh, you may hear about things, you may uh, be confronted by people who you don't know. Nobody knows who your damn mama you is. To explain yourselves on my behalf. Yes, yeah, maybe. I just want you to know that you do not have to do that. Yes, they probably should explain how they raised such a limp-wristed, child-molesting motherfucker. They should probably explain that. How, where, where did things go wrong? Ever. No one should have to explain anything for Patrick Clark. No one should have to trend because of Patrick Clark. No one should have to ask, you know, answer the questions. Oh, where is Patrick now? What did Patrick do? What happened with Patrick? That's not your responsibility. And I don't want you to feel burdened with that responsibility. That's my responsibility. Okay? And I apologize to you all. Or any energy, uh, negative energy that has had to come your way because of me. Okay? Again, I want to apologize to the fans and those in my professional and personal life. Fuck this clown. I've affected by my behavior. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Apologies not accepted. Uh, I recognize that I was losing myself. Oh, really? I apologize to anyone that I lost along the way. Anyone that I've upset or offended because of my behavior. Which behavior are you talking about? You sending dick pics to little boys? Um, man, I'm sorry. And I hope you all forgive me. Thank you. 
So, as you can clearly see, he didn't really, I mean, he did make an apology, but he didn't tell us what he did wrong. He had no desire at all to explain what was true, what wasn't true. Let me tell you why Patrick Clark waited three years. He wanted to make sure there was going to be no criminal charges that could stick to him. Patrick Clark has been accused of this since 2020. You haven't heard Patrick Clark, Velveteen Dream, come out here one time and make an apology in all of these years. In fact, he was getting himself more in trouble. And the reason people do that is whenever they're facing some sort of, there's a guilty feeling because you're facing sort of some sort of potential criminal situations. You get nervous, you get butterflies in your stomach, and you just want to kind of go away. You don't want the light shined on you. Well, Velveteen, I'm never Patrick. I'm never going to let the night the, let the light not shine on you. You're a fucking chomo, man. It's that simple. And I don't give a fuck how many times you apologize or whatever. I don't give a fuck, honestly, if you wrestle again. That's not. I don't think you should be kept from having a job. I mean, I think all men should work. The problem is, is I think you should be in prison for trying to diddle little boys and little girls. If that's not a crime, then what is? It's people like you and your kind. And when I say your kind, I clearly mean and your grooming tactics that make this world an uglier place for our children. And I don't give a fuck if woke media, liberal progressives have a problem with what I'm saying or not. The whole reason we look around this country every single day and see things as so fucked up is because of people like you and your degeneracy. That's the truth. Now, I'm not saying you can't grow up. Look, I did bad shit when I was young. Not nothing like what you're doing. Well, not everybody has a chance to grow up. But brother, when you're attracted to little kids, that can't be fixed. That's not a sickness that can be cured. It's that simple. Now, whether a company hires you or not, I don't care. I won't watch what shows you're on. But at the end of the day, you don't deserve forgiveness. Because everybody out here is mad at Ric Flair and Chris Jericho. They did things with actual grown women. You were out there trying to be a predator for the... You were trying to... You were, you were trying to... You were going after the kids, man. And especially in the world of uh, pro wrestling, where all the people watching this type of content, pro wrestling, are typically little fucking kids. It's the most disgusting thing you could do. I personally hope you don't wake up tomorrow, let alone have a job. You're a scumbag, a chomo, a child molester. End of story. I'm JB Gunner. This is Heal Nation. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think Velveteen Dream should be prancing his little ass all around the ring again? I think it's different. When you're talking about a job, that's something different. But to me, I didn't sense any form of remorse there. This is just a, a dude that's probably broke now that needs a job again. And he's hoping everybody has gotten over it. I haven't. I'm JB Gunners, Heal Nation. Guys, I love you guys. If you would, if you, if you like what I do here and find my content valuable, feel free to hit the links down below. Support the channel today. I'll see you guys next time, man. I got shit to do.